welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Spotlight. Today I'm talking about the 2006 film, Idle Wild. And that's Ace. Ace owns church. He liked to be called Sunshine Ace. But most folks just called him Ace. Goddamn Ruth. Unless they wanted something. Sunshine Ace, just the man looking for. Listen to me, you son of a big jackass. You ain't gonna get nothing from me but the vote. What for? Yeah, when I put my foot in your ass, you gonna say, what for? What for? Idlewild is written and directed by Brian Barber, and it's starring Andre 3000, Big Boy, Terrence Howard, Paula Patton, Melinda Williams, and Macy Gray. Idlewild is an American musical that features the music of Outkast. The film takes place in a juke joint in the fictional town of Idlewild, Georgia in 1935. All of the musical numbers in this film are written by Outkast, with a few exceptions from other singers such as Macy Gray and Deborah Killings, who performs the singing voice of Paula Patton's character. Elements of the 1930s era blues and jazz are used in the music, and the film's dance numbers are also done in a style of dancing that were popular at the time, such as the Lindy Hop and the Jitterbug. Most of the songs in Idle Wild had already been featured on Outkast albums, such as Big Boy and Dr. Dre Present Outkast and Speaker Box The Love Below, essentially making it a jukebox musical. Seven of the songs from the film, along with several unreleased songs, were released by LaFace Records as an Outkast album entitled Idle Wild at the time of the film's release. Idlewild was released August 25th, 2006, and it grossed just around $12.6 million on a $15 million budget, so the film was a bit of a financial flop. Critics were also divided on the film, and it's currently sitting on Rotten Tomatoes at a 47%. So what do I like about this movie? Well, first off, I'm not going to beat around the bush. The best part about this movie is the musical numbers. Now, I'm not saying the movie sucks, and the only thing good about it is the musical numbers. I'm just saying the best part of of this film is the musical numbers. Brian Barber is actually more well known for filming music videos. In fact, he's filmed a good deal of Outkast videos. And that's really where his uh, talent shines. And honestly, it really shows in this film. The story in the movie is pretty simplistic. There's not a lot there. Both of the characters that are played by Outkast, Big Boy, and Andre 3000 have kind of like their own stories. Now, everything centers around the juke joint in Idle Wild. However, each of the characters have kind of like their own stories. You have Big Boy who's trying to deal with balancing his family and running this club. You have Andre 3000 who's trying to create, you know, basically like a new form of jazz for the time. And he's also got a very tragic love story going on. And to be perfectly honest, out of everything, they could have just dropped off the love story. It really doesn't need to be there. And it drags the film down just a little bit. I'm not saying don't have romance in movies. It's just for this particular film, it just felt like extra weight that didn't need to be there. And that's it. That's really my only complaint in this movie is that romance. It just feels kind of tacked on. Like the movie was kind of progressing and then the director was kind of like, oh damn, we don't have a love story in this movie. And you know, people love love stories, so we better throw one in. It, it just kind of feels like that. But honestly, that's the worst I got to say about this movie. The film also also has a very unique fantasy film vibe to it. And unfortunately, sometimes that fantasy vibe in the film kind of detracts from some more of the serious tones that it's trying to have. Again, it's not something that ruins the film. It's just sometimes a little distracting. However, I like it. I think it's really neat. I think it makes the film almost feel like a dream. Don't worry, it's not one of those movies. It's not one of those movies where all of a sudden Andre 3000 wakes up and just goes, oh, it was all a dream. It, it doesn't do that, I promise. So if you're curious and you want to check out Idle Wild, well, you can find it currently for rent on YouTube, Google Movies, Vudu, and Amazon Prime. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of another Film Geek video. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's another thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.